Whew, now this set barely made it on. I can't lie. That army girl realness, it is definitely, definitely fitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this pair away. back after a little minute i haven't done a shein haul in a while i know a lot of you enjoy these so i do try to make sure i do these frequently so if you like these type of videos and you're not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe so you can see more videos from me i post weekly videos and often i post these type of hauls so if that's content you're interested in definitely go ahead and subscribe but y'all i have quite a few different pieces so i want to go ahead and show them to y'all so this video doesn't have to be too long i'm gonna try to style them and maybe not full on but i will have another video if you want me to style the pieces but i got some clothing items i have shoes i have a few different purses so in order to show y'all all of the items and not make this video too long i need to go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and jump into the pieces Okay, so we're going to start with this set that I'm actually wearing. I got a few different basic pieces that I'm going to go ahead probably and get out of the way. And then we'll move to some of the other pieces. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I love to wear basic pieces year round, especially during fall. It's very easy. Um, I feel like with basic pieces, you can layer them and you can have really cute outfits with boots. Um, whatever, honestly, whatever type of shoes you have that you want. So I, I said all that to say I got a few different basic pieces and that's what we're starting off with. So this is the first set right here. This is their scoop neck legging set. I love this set right here. I got it in a size large. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, it's a bit, um, I feel like it runs almost true to size. It's a little bit smaller. I feel like for it to be a large, the leggings are extremely stretchy, but I feel like the top isn't as stretchy as the leggings. So keep that in mind if you can. I would suggest sizing up just so you have a bit more room. But nonetheless, it's still very comfortable. I went ahead and got it in a chocolate brown. These sleeves are really long. I can honestly cover up my whole hand. I just, like I said, wish I had a little bit more room when it came to the top. But the leggings are perfect. As you can see, I feel like this is just a chill, everyday, cozy kind of vibe. I'll come up close so you can see. It's literally just a scoop neck, but it's literally just a basic set. I got this in brown and I also got it in gray. I'll show y'all that next. So yeah, y'all, this is the first set. This is the scoop neck legging set. And again, I got it in a size large. And my recommendation would be to size up if you can. Now I'm going to move on to, I, I'm going to show y'all all of the sets, but some of the sets I got kind of like some outerwear to show y'all how I personally would layer them. So I'm going to go get the um, shacket that I, haul, that I have in this haul to show y'all kind of like how you can dress this set up in a way. So let me go ahead and get the shacket, give y'all the details on that, and then we'll keep this haul rolling. Okay, so here's the shacket I mentioned. Now on their website, they call this like the shoulder coat, plaid shoulder coat. I'll make sure I put the picture, of course, and the name in the on the screen as well as in the description box, as long with sizes in case I fail to mention the size of something I have on. It will be in the description box. But this is the shacket. I'm going to come up close so you can see the colors. I really love this color. I feel like these colors scream fall, so I had to get it. It does have two pockets in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put it on to kind of show y'all what it looks like. I got this in a size medium and I'm glad I did. I didn't want anything too small, but I also didn't want it too, too oversized because I didn't want it to drag the ground because I'm only like 5'2", so I didn't want anything too long. But this is what the shacket looks like on with this. I love the amount of room I have also in the arms and my wrist. It's not too tight like I mentioned before. A medium is the perfect size for me. I will have my measurements in the description box in case that is helpful to anyone. But yeah, let me come up close so you can kind of see the shacket. I love how the orange and the cream pop off of this chocolate brown. So yeah, y'all, here's the shacket. I'll go ahead and turn around so you can see the length in the back. But yeah, this is just a simple shacket. This is actually really good quality. Um, so yeah, I would definitely suggest this shacket as well as checking out the other colors because like I said, the quality is actually really good, especially for the price. So y'all let me know what y'all think of kind of like this combo, the shacket alone, as well as the set. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the same set, but I do have it in gray. Okay, so I'm back with that same set. I really just wanted to come and show y'all it in a different color. Same exact set. It's the scoop neck set. I also have this one in a large. My thoughts are the same because it's the exact same set. I do love the gray color. 
So yeah, I really got these sets because I wanted some everyday chill, kind of like just loungy sets. I didn't want anything that was going to be, you know, you just want something comfortable just to wear, you know, here and there just to run your everyday errands in. And like I mentioned before, throwing a jacket or a flannel will definitely kind of dress it up a little bit more. So I do have a way to address it up. So in the next clip, you'll see I'm going to add some boots and a flannel to go ahead and show you how you can dress it up. Those will also be some new pieces I got from Shein, so I'll be sharing that with y'all, but I did want to come and show y'all what the gray set looks like on by itself. Okay, so here we have my attempt at trying to dress up the set. Remember, we just had the basic two-piece gray set on. Obviously, I still have it, but I went ahead and threw a flannel on. So I have this simple plaid flap pocket button through shirt, and I got it in a size large. It's this really pretty kind of like uh carolina blue i guess you would say tan and cream color and i feel like the plaid really pops off of the gray i also went ahead and added this blue bag also from shein i will link it i got it a while ago and then also i added these side zip chunky heeled classic boots also from shein i just wanted to kind of dress it up and in fall obviously boots are going to be a go-to as well as oversized flannel pieces like this so y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Is it elevated? Does it make it look a little bit more dressy? I feel like this would be really cute for like a movie night, bowling night situation. So again, y'all let me know what y'all think about adding the flannel to it as well as the boots. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next look. Okay, now here's the next set. This is the kangaroo pocket jacket and tie waist pants set. I got it in the color brown and this is a size large. Now I really like this set. This set is definitely fitting. I feel like this set is going to make your body look really good. I feel like it's going to make your shape look nice. Like I mentioned before, I did get it in a large because, to be honest, sometimes she ain't clothes around a little small. I probably could have got away with the medium. I just didn't want it to be too tight, but you do have the issue of it maybe being too long if you're shorter than me. I'm 5'2", and they are literally dragging the ground. But not to the point where I can't walk, but they are a bit long. So if you do want to size down as far as length is concerned, that probably would be a great option to do. And it probably would still fit because like I said, I could definitely get away with a medium in this. And I feel like the length would have been perfect. But I did go ahead and get a large because I knew it kind of would be cropped from the jacket. So yeah, luckily the pants are high waist. So you can kind of pull them up to kind of help with them dragging the ground but this is what it looks like i really love the brown color i feel like it looks really cute this is a great color for fall i love how it looks on my skin and again i love the fit i'll come up close so you can see just your standard velour track suit definitely giving like juicy couture vibes super cute and again it is definitely definitely fitting this is how it looks in the back Super cute. Again, it is really long. I do find myself stepping on it, but I feel like I'd be okay in terms of like walking without tripping and falling on my face. Let's at least just hope. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this set. I feel like this is just a cute set to again have in your closet this fall. We want to just throw something on. Maybe you're going shopping. It's extremely comfortable. Um, I feel like the material will definitely keep you cool. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this set. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next set. Whew, now this set barely made it on. I can't even okay y'all so this set right here this is the contrast trim asymmetrical hem top and flare leg pants if you can you probably can hear it out in my voice i'm out of breath i don't know what possessed me to get this outfit in a size small because girl you're not a small this is just a bit too too small i should have got like a medium or if i wanted to be extremely comfortable i should have got a large the fact that the jacket top is asymmetrical that's what really got me because girl it is rolling up because it is a bit too small again i'm not really sure why i got a small but here we are i decided to still show it to y'all because it's really cute it's just unfortunately not the best size for me i should have definitely got my size or sized up but y'all let me know what y'all think about this set again nonetheless really cute i feel like this will be another cute fall kind of like i mean it is really cute fall like shopping outfit i just i need to get another size but y'all let me know what y'all think the leg the pants are not too long but they're also not too short so i do like that it's just the overall fit um so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this set and i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one okay so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to dresses that was all of these sets i had to share now this dress right here when i saw it on the website i knew that i wanted it i love the color the orange is what drew it to me orange i feel like just looks good on everyone's skin tone so i had to get this dress because 
of the color and then also i love the style of the dress this is just their long sleeve ruffle dress and it's basically as in the name says it's a long sleeve ruffle dress i really love it it's like a scoop neck up top and then at the bottom it does have ruffles i went ahead and got a size large and i'm glad i did because when i say this dress is super comfortable on it feels really good i feel like orange is a cute color for fall as well as again, I mentioned the other seasons. So I feel like it's definitely a color that you can get away with year round, especially fall. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this dress. I love this dress. I feel like it's flirty, it's classy, and then it just gives, you know, I don't know. I feel like it does the body good. It looks really good. It's shaping me. The ruffles are kind of asymmetrical. I kind of turn around so you can see. The ruffles are a bit higher in the front, in the front versus the back, and I think that's a cute touch. So here's this dress. I went ahead and paired it with some orange strappy heels. So y'all know what y'all think of this dress. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, well, I'm back with another orange moment. This is a, another orange dress. This is actually a basic tube dress. I'll show y'all what the dress looks like by itself. But I saw this cardigan and I was like, this would go really good with a simple basic dress. So I had to get both. I'll come up close so you can see. This is the orange tube dress. Very simple, your basic tube dress. Now the cardigan is what I saw first and I was like, okay, a basic orange dress would definitely go really good with that. So this is just their color blocking cardigan. It does button up and I got it in a size medium. Again, my reasoning, it was I didn't want it too tight, but I also didn't want it too big and I love the fit. I also have this pink kind of like shaggy bag also from them and then these green kind of like furry shaggy platform so y'all let me know what y'all think about this look this look is full of color if you're someone in the fall who can't put your colors away like me i feel like you would really like this outfit if you're more neutral this probably isn't the outfit for you but nonetheless it's still really cute i feel like it's a cute cozy fall night kind of like date night maybe or hanging out with your friends you want to look cute but you still want to be comfortable this is the look for you i love the colors i love how everything kind of just went together from the shoes to the dress to the cardigan to even the bag so y'all know what y'all think of this outfit again this is just a basic tube dress and then this is their color blocking cardigan and i just thought they paired really well but y'all let me know and i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next dress okay so here we have the next dress now this is just a split thigh high sweater dress i really like this dress i feel like this dress will be really cute for a cool fall night i love the quality i love the texture of the dress it's literally truly a sweater dress so it's really cute i love the apricot color i did go ahead and get this in a medium it is very stretchy but you do want to play it safe because it does have this really high slit so keep that in mind but this is just what the dress looks like it is a long sleeve i'll come up close so you can see it a bit better um super cute dress like i said it is very stretchy so i do like that but you don't want to size i would say you don't really want to size down because of the split it may be a little too high if you do size down but this is overall the fit of the dress really cute very simple standard sweater dress but i feel like it just is very you know fallish because of the uh, uh, material the color i just feel like it's a really cute neutral dress i went ahead i don't know if you can really see them but i paired them with these brown furry heels that i also got not really a fan of these towards the end of the video i'll show y'all these shoes i also have one that i'll be giving away not these but i do not recommend these but you'll see them at the end of this video but i did want to go ahead and mention them so y'all let me know what y'all think about this dress and we have i believe one more dress and then we're going to move on to some more pieces to show okay so here's a another basic dress this is just a really cute green ruched front dress i feel like this is a basic dress i wanted to throw it in my cart just because i knew that i could dress it up or dress it down so here's the dress here's what it looks like won't say too much it's just a basic ruched um dress i have this dress long sleeve and other colors so i just basically like the style of this dress so i wanted to go ahead and get it it fits really good i did go ahead and get it in a size medium and i feel like it is a great size for me definitely comfortable but also still not too short so y'all let me know what y'all think about this super cute basic dress and i'm going to go ahead and move on to the final dress of this haul okay so here we have the final dress now i wanted to go ahead and show you that this dress does come with like a detachable sleeve piece this is their solid seam detail tube 
bodycon dress and shrug top so here's your shrug top i did go ahead and get it in a size medium so if you choose not to wear the kind of like a added little sleeve part you will have basically a standard halter dress i love this dress i feel like the fit is really cute it's definitely really snug but it fits really good just a basic bodycon kind of like tube dress and then it will look like the seams are inside out but obviously that is the you know point of the whole dress as it says in the title so this is what it looks like without the top on i'm going to go ahead and add the top and show you what it looks like okay so here's it with the uh, shrug top and with the shrug top added it basically gives off the illusion of a long sleeve dress i feel like it is really cute the uh, shrug top also kind of looks like it is inside out but i love the uh, texture of the top as well as the dress so y'all let me know what y'all think about this cute little dress i feel like it's really cute to have the option to wear it without or with the top so yeah, here's the dress. The top is also, of course, in a medium. If you wanted to wear this with other items, you could because it is a two-piece kind of dress set. I'll go ahead and turn around again so you can see. Super cute, but still super basic. So yeah, that wraps up the dresses of this haul. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, basically tops and bottoms that I paired together to have like um, simple outfits. So let's go ahead and move on to that portion of the video. Okay, so here's the first little outfit I put together. Now this one is given very basic but army girl realness. So the top is just this zip cut high bodysuit, very standard black bodysuit. It is a high cut, but you cannot really tell because these pants are high waist. I did get the bodysuit in a size large. And then the uh, pants that I have on, these are their cargo jawstring pants. Let me get the correct title, even though I'm definitely going to have it on the screen. Camel print side flat pocket cargo pants, and I got these in a size large. These cargo pants do not have any stretch, so make sure you order your true size. If you can, you may want to size up if you want them to fit like baggy cargo pants, because again, they have absolutely no stretch, so you'll definitely need to get your size. But I really do like how they fit. I paired them with some platform kind of like ankle boots. And I think the look is cute. Very simple, standard, you know, outfit. I'm sure you've seen this look before. Simple go-to cargo pants. Camo cargo pants can honestly go with anything. So to pair it with a black top is very simple and very basic. So y'all let me know what y'all think about these two pieces paired together. I'll go ahead and turn around so you can see how the cargo pants fit the uh, pockets on the cargo pants are functional you can put things in the pocket so again here's this look y'all let me know what y'all think and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next outfit okay so this next look is super basic i just have this orange plaid flannel on with these apricot utility pants on cargo utility pants and i think this outfit is again very basic i really wish i had some cute orange boots to pair with this i definitely would if i had them but nonetheless, here is a basic outfit. You could obviously wear these two pieces separate. I just chose for the sake of the video to go ahead and pair them together just to show you a really cute basic outfit. I'll come up close so you can see the flannel standard plaid print, two pockets in the front, button down, and then here are the cargo pants. I can't remember the size that I got at the top of my head, so I will link them in the description box, the size that I got. But I really love these pants. I feel like they are cute and cargo pants are definitely in this fall. So had to get these and I absolutely love the color of these. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next outfit. But I wanted to be sure to show you this look. Now this next look, as you can see, I kept the cargo utility pants on. And I just threw this tie-dye letter graphic tee on with it with this red bag because the shirt does have kind of like pops of red with these red sandal heels not sure if you can see them but this would also look cute with like some sneakers for a cute little streetwear vibe i wanted to get a graphic tee just because graphic tees are easy to throw on in style and i saw these and i was like that would go really cute with those pants that i had in my cart so i went ahead and got this really um cheap but still cute top i did go ahead and get it in a size small this is what it looks like up close and then I just paired it with this red bag. I probably would pair these with some tennis shoes just so it looks a little bit more kind of like streetwear and casual. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this top paired with these utility pants. So yeah, this is the next outfit. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so keeping up with kind of like the streetwear comfy vibe, I have this bodysuit right here. I had this same one in the in black. That's what I showed y'all with the camo pants. This one is in white. It's just their high cut zipper bodysuit. I went ahead and paired them with these gray sweatpants. These are their, let me find them. 
These are their solid drawstring slant pocket sweatpants and I got these in a medium and I so wish I would have got them in a large because I would like for them to fit a bit more baggy than they do but this is just what they look like on I went ahead and paired them with these sneakers um this is just again a very casual streetwear vibe cute to run errands in you're just going out for the day you want something cool for this fall weather this is a simple fit so y'all let me know what y'all think of these sweatpants. I really just kind of paired it together something quick. I really wanted these sweatpants to fit a bit more oversized. So I definitely probably should have sized up. So keep that in mind when you do order them. The length is also not too bad. They're not dragging the floor, but I'm also not flooding. So yeah, that's the length of the pants. So again, a basic outfit. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next outfit. Okay, so I also got those sweatpants in brown, as you can see here. Also got these in a size medium. Again, if you want the oversized baggy look, definitely go ahead and size up. Now the top, I just paired this with basically Shein's kind of like Skims dupe. So I actually have a video that I did like last year of a few different pieces from Shein that are dupes to the Skims product. So definitely check that video out. I have this top in several different colors and I absolutely love it. I'll come up so you can see. I think it's just their Bay basic body top, something along those lines. Of course, I'll link it, and like I said, it is in the color chocolate brown, and I got them to go with, I got it to go with these chocolate brown sweats, so another super basic, air and running, inside the house, just chill, cozy fall vibes, very neutral, monochrome look, y'all let me know what y'all think about this basic fit, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next outfit. Okay, so this look right here is our last kind of like top and bottom, the rest of the pieces will be like cardigan so let me go ahead and give y'all the details of this fit so i have some solid high waist flat pocket cargo pants on i went kind of like cargo crazy in this video but i love cargo pants and they are definitely trendy right now for fall so here are the cargo pants i did get them in a size large and i will say they have no stretch so definitely get your size or size up don't try to size down because they are hugging like i mean you can't really pull them too much. I still like the fit, but if you want like an oversized baggy type of vibe, you definitely need to size up. And they actually have an extra large. So if I would have known they would fit this tight, I would definitely have sized up. But nonetheless, it's good that you do have the option to size up. So I went ahead and just paired it with this, with this black top so I can show y'all. This is also a top I got. It's this ruched front PU shirt. And overall, I think it's pretty cute. I'm not really sure what I would actually style it with. But for the sake of this video, I just paired it with these pants. And we're having like an all black moment. Probably would definitely wear some platform boots. But you kind of get the vibe. It's an all black moment. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the top as well as the bottoms. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the cargos. Cargos. Girl, I didn't show y'all enough cargos. We're going to go ahead and move on to the cardigans as well as the purses and shoes that I got towards the end of the video so we can wrap it up. So again, y'all let me know. Stop right here. Let me know your favorite piece so far. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So let's move on to the outerwear portion of the video. Okay, y'all. So the first cardigan I have to show y'all is the checkered pattern color block drop shoulder cardigan. And I got it in a size medium. I'll come up close so you can see the cardigan. This is just what it looks like. I love the checkerboard and then I love the green and blue kind of like pops of color they have. The cardigan is really cute. If you want the oversized baggy look, definitely, of course, size up. I really like this look. I feel like it's very simple. Another piece you can just throw on. I don't know if y'all can see based on the camera's angle, but I just put on those same kind of like green shaggy platform heels. These platform heels are super comfortable, so I definitely am happy I got these. And then I kept on those same black um, cargo pants. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this cardigan. Again, it is super cute. I love the checkerboard. I love the fit. And of course, I love the color blocking that they have going on. So let's go ahead and move on to the next cardigan. Okay, so here we have the next cardigan. This is actually their striped pattern shawl collar drop shoulder double breasted cardigan. And it is in kind of like this apricot and black color. I got this in a size large because I did want it to fit oversized, but it's a bit too oversized. I'll have to like keep it closed. Otherwise, it'll be open um, because it's just a little bit too baggy. But this was so cute. I think it, it'll still be cute if I just uh, like have a bodysuit underneath. But right now I don't have a bodysuit so I'm just going to hold it. 
but I'll make sure I put the picture up so you can get the vibe. But I just felt like this cardigan was super cute. I love cardigans because you can pair them with different types of pants, jeans, and some cute boots, and it'll really kind of like tie a look together. So I did want to show y'all this cardigan. Again, you might want to size down because the front area you will be kind of exposed or the girls will be exposed if you don't get your size. But as long as you wear something underneath, you will be good. So yeah, here's the cardigan. Again, a super cute cardigan. Very basic, but will help kind of like elevate a look. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the final cardigan. Okay, so here we have the final cardigan. This is their letter pattern button through cardigan and it is a one size fits all situation. I'll come up close so you can see it. Kind of like has this print going on. It has black, a light brown and gray on like a apricot taupey color. I absolutely love this cardigan. I feel like this will be another cute cardigan to just throw on. I love the sizing. I love the print and I love the color. So I wanted to make sure I got a few cardigans to pair with like jumpsuits jeans pants cargo pants because like i said cardigans are just very convenient so uh, this is the final cardigan and basically the final piece of clothing we're now going to move on to the shoes and bags i didn't get that many so we're basically almost through this haul go ahead and like the video if you haven't and let's go ahead and move on to the final portion of the video okay y'all so i am finally done with the try on portion of this video that was a lot of work i felt like that was a lot of clothes so now we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up i just wanted to go ahead and show you a few of the shoes and bags that i got so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna start with the shoes now this first pair i actually really like these i love the color i love the material it's like that furry fuzzy kind of like feel to it let me go ahead and tell you the name of these shoes casual thick strap slip on chunky heels and i got them in green absolutely love these these are very comfortable so i'm super excited that i got these i'm gonna go back and see if they have like some neutral colors so yeah this is what this looks like cute shoe very comfortable now the next shoe that i got is very similar to it and i'm so mad that i can't fit it it's this metallic green color i got it in the same size as that one but for someone this, for some reason this one is a lot smaller so i'm gonna go ahead and give this pair away these are a six and a half if you can fit a six and a half and you want these shoes all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel go ahead and leave a comment below make sure you mention the shoes so i know to kind of like enter your comment in and probably at the end of this month i'll just go ahead and randomly pick a winner so again if you want to win these cute metallic green heels definitely on trend right now make sure you are subscribed to my channel and go ahead and leave a comment letting me know you would like to be entered in the giveaway for these shoes super cute i just really can't fit them so these are just some metallic platforms now the next heels i got were a huge disappointment because they have potential they definitely have potential so this is the shoe it is like a furry strap up type of situation it's supposed to wrap around your leg but it didn't do that and then it has like some material at the end that doesn't even have this kind of like bendy part so it's not really a functional shoe definitely would not recommend these again they did have potential though i got them in brown but they were a no for me i actually have shoes similar to this that are actually functional and it's a super cute vibe a super cute kind of shoe it just didn't work with these so would not recommend and then the last pair I got is just these boots right here. Really cute, kind of like baby blue boots. I'll make sure I link these. These actually were very comfortable. They have the zipper on the side. Really cute boot. I paired these with like a cute little flannel that was similar in color and I really like the look. So here's the boots. That's actually the final pair of shoes. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the bags I got okay so first up we're gonna start with this bag right here now this bag i've seen several different times on shein i just actually never got it but it's a cute little mini bag this is there i'll make sure of course i go ahead and put the picture and the name on the screen but this is just their solid fluffy satchel bag and i got it in pink if you've been on shein before or you get on there frequently you will know that this bag is pretty popular i just never got it but i decided to get it this round and i'm happy with it it's super cute and fun so i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next bag now the next bag is fun as well this is their neon orange minimalist fluffy bag i actually really like this it is actually very spacey as well it has more room than i thought it would um it's kind of deep as you can see but nonetheless i love the material i love the texture of this bag so definitely had to get it and that's what that one looks like 
Now the uh, next one I got is this gold one right here. It's a metallic crocodile embossed hobo bag. Like I mentioned, metallics are definitely in right now. So I wanted to get this bag. Plus I really needed just a gold bag. So that's what this one looks like. Really cute hobo little bag. So there's that one. And then I also got this furry bag right here. This one is super cute as well and definitely on trend for this fall season. This bag right here is called their Faux Pearl Decor Flap Fluffy Square Bag. And this one is in khaki. It does come with a pearl strap that you could attach. This would actually be a cute little moment right here with this cardigan. So yeah, that's that bag. Super cute. It feels really good as well. And then the last bag is a basically a dupe for the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. This is their Crocodile Embossed Flap Square Bag. And I got it in brown. You can kind of see the print on there as well. This is a really cute bag. Probably going to wear this bag a lot just because I really love this rust brown color. And then this is about how deep it is. And it does come with a strap, as you can see. And that basically wraps up this video. That was the last purse I had. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, watching me review the pieces. Hopefully, you saw some pieces that you may want to add to your cart. If you did, definitely comment below. Let me know which pieces you enjoyed, which bags you liked, which shoes you liked. And again, if you want to win that metallic green platform shoe, make sure you just comment below and, of course, be subscribed. If you enjoyed this video and you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you, see, so you can see more videos for me in the future and until next time y'all thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye